Hi, welcome back. On this video here, we're going to be learning how to pull information from URLs and processing it using PHP. Right, so I'm going to show you right now a couple searches here on Google, a couple examples. So I'm going to show you an example of a URL uh, when Google actually sends parameters via URL. All right, so let's say, for example, I type in cars here. You see the parameters right here. They're very simple to to recognize once you know how they how they work. So we see a question mark here and we see source ID equals Chrome hyphen instant and then stops here with an amper symbol. Alright, this ampersand here divides each of these parameters. So we see here it stops here again and stops here again and we're going to be learning how to do that right now. Alright, so and how we do that is by using a super global called get. Let's open our co-editor here. Let's do a save as on this document here, blank.php. Let's call this get.php. All right. And if I can go ahead and find that get right here. All right, there we go. All right, so we got this get.php. And what I want to do and how I want to show you is that we're going to go to the URL. We're going to pass some parameters and then we're going to catch it here and display it and show you how it works. So for that, we need to catch that value of those. We need to catch that parameter. All right, so we are going to open some PHP tags here and we're going to use the variable, the super global called get. And this is actually underscore right there. So dollar sign underscore get this is a super global variable and meaning that is available anywhere in our document here we don't need to um, it, it's available inside functions outside functions anywhere we declare this is available as long as we pass parameters on the URL so how we are going to display this very simple so when we pass a parameter on the URL we're gonna catch it here and we're gonna display with this function print R the, pro the reason why we have to use print R, print R displays was inside arrays. Now, you heard me saying that this is super global, super variable global, right? It has a dollar sign right here, has an underscore. The super global variable converts the data, it, gets, it converts this data. This PHP has this done in the background there. They you know the functions they, they have in the PHP language. Um, it converts that into an associative array. All right, and I'm going to show you in a minute how that works. So let's just go ahead and go to the browser. And now you can see here that we have an array. And that's the print R. That's the get super global right there. It's empty right now. But when we pass it a parameter, it's going to display right there. So all we have to do is actually go here and pass it a parameter like ID equals 10. Enter. And as you can see, it converted the ID part of it for the key and then the 10 for the value and if I divide this with it with an ampersand right here and I say source like like Google did with the example that I show you with Google source equals um, I don't know try, uh, reports enter you see it created another key and it said the value for reports we divide each of these values by an ampersand right there so keep that in mind. Now we can send this information directly when the user types it in, or we can send it via links, right? So let's go down here and let's create a link. And I want to send that information via links. So let's create this link here and we're going to set it to go to the same page that we are on. And here with a question mark, we are going to set that information ID equals 200. When, they, when the user clicks here, we are going to send that ID of 200. We're going to send this parameter there. All right, and we're going to display it right here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's do this. All right, so when the user clicks, we, get, we send that ID to that get, super global, as you can see there. All right, perfect. Now we can make this dynamic also. All right, keep that in mind. We can put PHP right here, and this is the way it's usually done. This ID is usually set dynamically. This is not set 
you don't see users going to the browser and typing this this ID you know right when the user clicks on something this ID gets set dynamically so if the user goes on Google for example and searches for cars right that's gets sent dynamically right that all that parameter was sent automatically I didn't go physically there and put question mark 200 right I didn't do that so keep that in mind so we can send this like this open a PHP and uh, tag and close one and let's make a variable let's call this ID let's put it equal to 10 all right I'm gonna do something very simple here I'm gonna take off this ID here I'm gonna replace it with PHP and I'm gonna echo out make sure that you echo it because if you don't echo it it won't work so what I'm doing right now is I replace the ID that I set it that I set manually here with this dynamic ID and it's gonna be equal to 10 so it's gonna do basically the same thing we're just gonna have a different value all right so let's just take this out here and I click on it you get this ID set to 10 there all right so we're missing something here because we're missing that ID equals there we go we need to have that ID equal we need to have the key all right there we go so let's do it again click so we have the now the ID and the value is 10 you see this is and then we can test for things like this right if we say if for some reason if get is equal to ID to this ID which is equal to 10 then we can send the user to another page we can do things like this we can actually do multiple things with loops or I mean we can we can do there's a lot of things we can do all right we can even change this this here this href and make it dynamically all right we can even change this click here dynamically if we want to with PHP all right we can say something like button and then we can set the value up there to click here we can set that this string here All right we can make our applications however we want and then we insert some PHP right here alright let's just grab it from here there we go and let's just echo button here as you can see it's the same thing right here all right but we can change the value here whenever we want we can call this submit now and you can see it changing on top all right click look at that see that change click here now so there are many things that we can do with PHP but the best part is that we can get information from the URL and we can do things with it depending on what the user clicks we can send the user to a different page and say okay if the user click here all right if they if the ID was 10 if the value was 10 I want you to send the user to this and I want you to get this information from the database and display it to the user all right so hopefully this was clear to you if not don't worry about it you can ask me questions in the discussions and we're gonna be playing around more with getting information from users after this lecture right so take care and I'll see you in the next lecture